So the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is here and is equipped with some very interesting features and upgrades, but the biggest one by far has to be the one in sensor. That means much better image quality, which is pretty sick considering this is a pocket sized camera <laughs> that, you know, fits in my pocket, no problem. However, the good stuff, it doesn't stop just there. DJI has managed to pack a whole lot of cool things in this small little camera. And in today's video, we are gonna put it to the test and try to figure out if it's, you know, worth it or not. All right, so let's start with the build quality. The first thing first, this is really small. It honestly fits in your pocket easily and it has a three axis gimbal. So if you turn it on, you can see the gimbal is, can we get a focus on it? The gimbal is just completely straight, which ensures very stable footage when you are filming. Now another cool feature it has, which is an upgrade from previous model, is that now it has a fairly big screen. It's actually 4.7 times bigger than uh, from the version two of this camera. And if you turn it like this, you turn on the camera, and it, I mean, this is great. You can actually see a whole lot of what you're doing, plus it is completely touchable. To say that, a touchable screen. It's touchscreen, so here you can uh, mess around with all the settings that you want. Now, the camera is really easy to operate due to the minimalistic and just simple design. You have a joystick here too, which allows you to turn around the gimbal and uh, play with the position of it. And then you also have a record button. And uh, yeah, that alongside with the screen, it's basically all there is to know, you know. Now it does feel really good in the hand, feels solid. Other cool things that you can have too is that you can have a little wide angle thing right here. Here is a little wide angle lens. I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but this is a little, little wide angle lens and it, you just clip it on top of the lens with a little magnet and it sits on and now you get a wider image. Another cool thing that you also can buy separately, which I like a whole lot, is a mist filter. So you just put, put it on, it's the same mechanics and now you get this beautiful soft image and it's really easy to just, yeah, you know, it sits with a magnet. Super cool, I like that. Now let's then talk about the main features of this camera. The like biggest, Feature is obviously the brand new one in sensor, which you know ensures high quality footage in many different scenarios, better low light performance too, and higher dynamic range capabilities. I mean, having a one in sensor in this small of a camera, it's it's great. <laughs> Who doesn't like better you know, quality footage? I know I do. Now you can also record 4K footage up to 120 frames per second, which is nice. We all like a little bit of that slow motion, but if you're like one of them that, that like, you know, really, really slow motion, then you can't get 200 140 frames per second in full HD. That is like some serious amount of slow motionness. Now it's also equipped with D-Log M, which is a flat picture profile for all of us that like to color grade our footage. Plus there you can film 10-bit footage. Oof, we do like that. Now of course it's equipped also with the latest autofocus technology from DJI, which is really smooth and accurate. It's also equipped with something DJI calls Active Track 6.0. With other words, no matter how you hold the camera or you make, you know, your camera movements, the subject being tracked always stays in the center of the camera view. On top of that, the subject will also stay in focus while you're getting them smooth motions. Pretty cool. Now another cool little feature that piqued my interest is that DJI has managed to make very natural skin tones. Basically, when a human face enters the frame, the camera will automatically detect it and recognize it and then adjust the overall exposure accordingly. Like, it's it's pretty intellect, you know? <laughs> These things, I swear, they will get much smarter than we. I think they already are, you know? at least more than me. On top of that, it is equipped with something they call Glamour FX 2.0, which is basically like this uh, super smooth uh, skin tone. That is not something that I've been playing around with a lot, but it is there for all of you who like that. Now, in my mind, this would not be a complete review if we didn't go outside and test out this little bad boy in uh, like real life scenarios. So let's go out and uh, see if DJI can actually put their money where their mouth is. All right, so welcome to the Swedish forest. It's pretty deep autumn at the moment, so it's really cold. However, I'm filming right now with the Osmo Pocket 3. Plan is always pretty simple. We're just gonna put it to the test and see what this camera can actually do. So far, I'm really liking it. It also has this face detection on me right now. Oh, <laughs> so the gimbal is tracking my face. Wow, it's looking nice. So two things I want to add. One, I'm just filming everything in total auto. I want to make this like as simple as I possibly can and just see how 
see what it can do without like having me to think anything because I really want this camera to be like a camera that I just have in a pocket, whip it out and film whenever I want it to be, with stable footage. And second, the, it's, the, it's, the weather is getting pretty gnarly. I think it's starting to snow. I'm gonna sleep in my van that is over there. It's planning to be like minus degrees tonight. So all for the content, like and subscribe, please. So let's do a little uh, stable test here. The ground underneath me, as you can see, it, this is not what we would call like a <laughs> very even ground. I also have a little mist filter on right now. So if I'm glowy and nice, then you know why. And yeah, let's, let's see how stable is this. <laughs> wow. It's gonna be fun reviewing this afterwards, but I'm basically just extending my hand out a little bit and walking here on a pretty uneven ground. I'm actually quite impressed with this little camera. I mean, the fact that it's just so small and so stable and the like, the image quality, it's so much better than the previous models. And you know, for me, when I'm out vlogging, this is so much more convenient than what I'm filming on right now. This is big and heavy and bulky. It looks weird when I'm outside, you know, filming in public with a big camera and everything. Plus my hands get tired. This, on the other hand, it gets, sta this is not even stable, look, this is shaky. This gets like stable footage and it's in my pocket at all time. I mean, I can definitely see where this camera comes in hand. I'm, uh, oh, DJ, you surprised me once again. Now, in all honesty, if you're looking for a small, user-friendly, pocket-sized camera that can film high-quality, stable footage, then my friends, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 might just be the perfect camera for you. However, if you are on the lookout for a small action camera as well, then next, my friend, you should take a look at this video because the Osmo Action 4, it really surprised me.